C'est vraiment pour moi un, un plaisir énorme de remercier Albi Sachs pour ce discours tellement humain, tellement intéressant, tellement personnel. C'est quelque chose d'inouï parce que, au fond, on voit quelqu'un qui a vécu la lutte et qui a réussi à contre tout, envers et contre tout, euh, une vie qui menait à l'espérance, à l'espoir pour tout le monde. And somebody who now represents for us something, I suppose, remarkable in the sense of seeing a whole historical epoch um, that you have lived and that you have summed up. I have to say that uh, for people of my generation who were at university as I was um, going into university in the late 50s, uh, the Sharpeville massacre was the galvanizing force for our 17 and 18 year old souls. The, Sharp, the Sharpeville massacre, uh, the writings of Trevor Huddleston, not for your comfort, the marvelous Anglican priest who wasn't appreciated by his institution totally, and who was pulled from South Africa. Um, the fact that we didn't buy outspan oranges, smoke Rothman cigarettes, buy uh, South African sherry even though it was so cheap and we were students. <laughs> and even to this day, I have to say, I find it difficult to buy South African wine. It's just a <laughs> thing with me. Um, those things mark you forever. And then as, as a journalist, um, I went to South Africa in 1975 to do a documentary under apartheid time. I was uh, given the classification of white so I could stay at the same hotel as my crew, but our cameraman, who's a superb cameraman, was of Indian origin and he wasn't classified that way, so he had to stay in another hotel. Um, we had a, a time which was extremely difficult, but we managed to do a documentary and we put it on the air, it was one hour long. At that point, the High Commissioner from South Africa wrote to the President of the CBC and said this woman should be fired and the documentary is biased, untrue, wicked, all the things you can imagine. And the President of the CBC wrote back a very simple letter, which is in my archives now in the National Archives of Canada, which said, Dear High Commissioner, thank you for your note. Uh, the program uh, was done by the CBC by a respected journalist, Adrian Clarkson. The CBC is an independent agency reporting to the Parliament of Canada. Yours sincerely, Al Johnson. <laughs> Al Johnson later went to South Africa and was involved with uh, some of the work after apartheid ended. But I was struck this evening by your use of words like integrity, dignity, uh, the words of generosity, the words always of openness, the words of understanding of the other, the words that somebody truly versed in Ubuntu understands. I exist because you exist. And that great gift of that African philosophy is something which we everywhere must interiorize in order to understand what it is to be human and to function as a human being among other humans. His Highness the Aga Khan has frequently reminded us that we are creations of a single creator, and therefore we do attach ourselves to each other, even if we don't realize it, because we are part of that single project. To be reminded of that is always something which is to be first and foremost in our minds as we go forward and think about what we can do for our world, how we can take the example of your life, so magnificent as it has been, with its tribulations, with its trials, with its resounding successes, and 
with the feeling in the end which we are all left with after the Truth and Reconciliation Commission that the country of South Africa had been able to come to terms in the most human of ways with the kind of generosity and the kind of understanding and perception which is so rare uh, for human society. When you had that dreadful thing happen to you and you lost your arm and you were blinded, I know your some of your colleagues said, we are going to avenge you. And you said, how? By cutting off somebody's arm or blinding them? And then you said, roses and lilies will grow from my arm. That will be my soft vengeance. Thank you very much for sharing your soft vengeance with us. <laughs> it's our equivalent of a matrushka. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. Oh yeah. Aren't you glad I offered? I absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite excited now. <laughs> it's going to be this big. It shows where to go, but he's always known. Where to go. Now this is beautiful. I thought it was a mug. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Now would you mind wrapping it all up again? <laughs> 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 